Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. I'm going to just, this is going to be a really short video, but it's going to be where I'm going to show you the bookcases. Jim was working on it again. He's, he's put on three layers of the polyurethane and he explains because I was, I, I didn't know that um, varnish is the same thing as polyurethane. It's just one is a newer man-made and one is an older because when I was thinking of, I was thinking of stain. Stain is different, yes. But anyways, you're going to see him do that and he'll explain it. What he's doing again. You're doing really, oh wow, these are getting nice and shiny. This is coat number what? Three. Three, wow. That's pretty darn good. I'll step on the trampoline. <laughs> I'm on a trampoline watching you. <laughs> Look at that. Nice strokes. <laughs> and that, uh, there was somebody, I think it was Elizabeth said that she likes to varnish things. She'd do great with this, except this is a uh, polyurethane. It's not really a varnish. It'll just mm -hmm. age with... It's the same thing as a varnish. It is just... it? Just it's, no color? Well, polyurethane, even varnish does not have color. Mm. That's a stain. Oh. Varnish um, is the older style of the polyurethane. Polyurethane is, has kind of a plastic space There's to it. There's a few little dribbles there on the side. You might want to get. Otherwise, there'll be nice little bubbles. Well, okay, sorry. Anyhow. Anyhow. <laughs> I know. I distracted. The uh, varnish was made out of all natural materials. This is, a lot of it is man-made material. Mm -hmm. Well, it makes it look pretty. Real nice and shiny. You're going to do this coat and probably one more, you think? Probably. And then we can maybe put it up? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> we'll see. Like I said, if I'd used the sanding sealer on it first, it probably would have not taken quite as many coats. That's all right. This can isn't going to be used for anything else. So we're good. Oak has I think the lighting sealer. is better this time around because I'm... I'm at a different direction. The other time, the windows were really washing you out bad. That's now they, right. <laughs> now they can really see you. Oh, darn it! Darn it! Yeah. Oops, that dripped. I saw that. <laughs> Good thing there's a. Uh, That's why I put the tarp down. Tarp down. Yeah. Good thing. Well, I'll leave you to your work. You're almost done. Almost. Almost, and I'll. Talk to you in the other room when we do the other part, whichever, okay. whatever it might be. I don't know. We'll see. Bye. Bye. <laughs> and you're going to see my, my chickens and silver fox. Every little bit I check out to see where silver fox is and her babies. Well, we're going to try and get her in. I've got to go over here and open the gate and hope the others don't come out while I'm pushing her this direction. Silver Fox. I know some of you have said I should clip her wings. Well, you know, catching her is not as easy as one would think. Go back. Keep going. Go on. Go. Shoo, shoo. Go back. Follow. Go on. No. Go back. Go back. That's right, go in the door. There you go. Now stay there. Stop coming out. Shall we check the other babies as long as we're in here? There's all the rest of them. They're all outside. And Silver Fox, you don't you think of it. You just go play somewhere else. Let's see how Mama's doing. Okay. Oh, she's sitting on her babies. Oh, no, there's a couple of babies. Oh, they're in the dish. Hello babies, I don't know how to zoom, so this is the best we get. Hello there, sweetheart. Oh, your nose 
Was somebody pecking at you or did you try to peck somebody? Hmm. You might have tried to peck somebody. Because they can't get to you. Oh, they're chasing Silver Fox. What's Brownie chasing you for, Silver Fox? Huh? What's Brownie doing that for? She's not very nice to you. She's my other one that can fly. Guess I'm gonna go back in. It's a little chilly out here today. Actually, it's a lot chilly if I had to stay out here. I did have to put Silver Fox back in the fence and I know a lot of you have said I should clip her wings, but I really can't catch her. In fact, um, they're like little dinosaurs. They're the closest relative to the dinosaurs. And she and Brownie act very, very... There's my new phone ringing. Wow, I better answer it. I'm so glad that I've got a speakerphone. It's, it's one of, it's from, this one's from AARP. Let's see. If you have questions or comments for AARP, see? it can be reached toll free at 888-687-2277, Washington, D.C. So, you know, I will be able to hear the town hall call. This one's from AARP instead of from Tom Reed. But I will be listening to this, and then I will talk to you all again tomorrow. Bye.